Hello everyone. So I've been on a quest to make larger dendrites. Uh, that's a zoomed in uh, shot of a smaller one. And I think I finally found a good recipe. So I just kind of held up my ingredients for making my base white color. It's a white acrylic paint that I got from Target, some Floetrol. I use a, a one part paint to four parts Floetrol and then approximately one part water, just regular old water. Oops. <laughs> and um, I'm just very excited to show you. Um, this is a long video. So, and, and you'll see why, um, but I don't expect you to watch the whole thing in one sitting necessarily. Um, so I have a circular canvas. It's 12 inches in diameter and I'm just using push pins. Really have to twist them to get them into that, uh, whatever that material is. <laughs> Um, but I prefer push pins to any kind of stand. So using a level is very important with really any fluid art, but I will adjust the push pins as much as I can. Uh, they're re regular size, so there's not a whole lot of, um, options versus like trying to level my table. It's just easier to level the canvas. Um, but I did make sure it was level and I want to get that on the record <laughs> before I start uh, showing you the rest of the video because as you'll see, it didn't stay level. I'm not sure what happened. All right. So I'm just showing you the consistency of the paint. It makes a small mound and then quickly melts away into the rest of the paint. So just trying to spread it evenly around the canvas, realizing I don't have gloves on. I need to go get gloves on. <laughs> And I will link in the description, the YouTube, um, artist who I got this recipe from. And I'm just thrilled because I have tried this. So I've tried to make one large dendrite piece over and over and over. And I, it, I just couldn't get them to be large enough. Like I wanted one the size of the canvas and the recipe I was using was the acrylic, um, ink, not acrylic paint, but the acrylic ink and isopropyl alcohol, 91%. And they're beautiful, but they just don't grow. See, there's the acrylic ink and that's one of my favorite colors. It's teal. But I found this recipe where you actually add silicone oil and it worked like a charm. So I'm actually adding an entire droplet full dropper full of ink. I sort of counted, I think it's like 30 drops, but this is because I know I want this pattern to take up the entire canvas. A lot of the, there's like little bubbles in there that I'm trying to pop with a, with a push pin. Um, a lot of the video titles on YouTube that I've seen for these, they call them fractals, but as a math person, these are not fractals. Fractals are like an infinite pattern. 
you can continue zooming in infinitely and you'll continue seeing the same pattern over and over and over. And that's just not the case here. What we're actually creating are dendrites, which are the little tree branches that come off of the cell in the middle. All right, so that is one drop of silicone oil. And then I'm using a pipette, just a cheap plastic pipette. And I have the isopropyl alcohol in um, a little paper cup. My pipette looks like I have ink inside of it, but I don't. It's just because it's the same pipette I've been using for a while. And um, it, it has dried acrylic ink inside of it, but um, I couldn't clean it out. I tried. Um, but the alcohol comes out clear from that pipette so it's not really bothering anything so i'm just thrilled look at that gorgeous dendrite formation and so now i am adding some purple i believe and that was an entire pipette um pipette, droplet, dropper, whatever you call it, <laughs> full, one drop of silicone. And when I go to add the alcohol, I generally do like one drop at a time. And then I end up adding, you know, three, four, five drops of alcohol. The last thing I wanted to do was flood the design and ruin the dendrites because I have done that so many times before. But I found with the silicone, which now I'm holding up for you, I'm just showing you that's alcohol in that uh, spray bottle. I just take the lid off and dump it into the cup. Um, the silicone just does wonders and it does not, the, the dendrite ends do not get flooded. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm saying it's, you'd have to be pretty deliberate with the amount of alcohol you're putting in, in order to flood them. So now I'm trying to add white acrylic ink and it's just like sinking to the bottom and the little dropper wasn't working no matter which way I tried. So eventually you'll see me dump. <laughs> Part of the contents of the bottle just directly in the middle because I was starting to get a little impatient. Yeah, not that time. I think the next time I do the white, that's what happens. So you basically just keep layering. So it's the ink, then one drop of silicone oil, and then as many drops of the alcohol as it takes to kind of get it moving. And it's pretty easy to tell how much you need. It's not an entire pipette full, I can tell you that. And because the design is growing, I'm kind of moving the uh, alcohol droplets around. I'm not necessarily putting them all directly in the middle. But... <sighs> You may or may not be able to tell at this point, but my design is starting to shift to our left. It was my right as I was doing this, but I was so fascinated and enthralled with the dendrite formations that I really wasn't noticing it, it at this point. I eventually do notice and you'll see what happens. Feel free to zoom in. Just if you're on your phone, just take two fingers and you can just zoom in and out because the dendrites are just so fun to watch.
looked like a grape on the end of that dropper. That was so funny. So I continue to add the ink, the oil, and the alcohol. This is actually sped up uh, to be five times speed. And here's where I start to realize that something's not right. It's getting too close to the edge on the one side. Um, so there I did add white ink. I just love the way that that made the colors in the middle. So I actually thought maybe my paint was uneven. So I tried to kind of even out the paint on the one side, but that wasn't working. <clears throat> so I tried tilting and then realized the table, the table's not level. I, I know for a fact that that's the issue. Um, so I just turned it and started to continue adding the materials and sure enough, it evened itself out. Thank you, gravity. <laughs> In hindsight, I probably should have stopped right about here. <laughs> um, but I was really determined to get the dendrites to go all the way to the edge of the canvas. <clears throat> I just love that effect when you add the alcohol just makes this like burst of color and lots of movement so I'm tilting just to get those dendrites to grow And then I know I want a white center uh, because what ends up happening is little fractals form, not fractals, <laughs> dendrites uh, form inside that white center. And I, and I just made a mistake because there was something I didn't like um, where I put that white sort of swirl. So I was trying to fix it and I ended up just making it worse and I'm still making it worse. <laughs> and so I didn't like it. So I'm literally trying to scoop out those swirls <clears throat> with a paintbrush. And I kind of play around with it a little bit. But I was so mad at myself because I'm like, oh, I just made it worse. Sometimes you just have to know when to stop. <laughs> so I decided to just fill that whole entire area in with white paint. And again, I probably should have just stopped there. But there was a part where I'm fiddling right now that I didn't like. <clears throat> and so I'm trying to fix it by adding more ink and oil and alcohol. And it was just, look, getting worse. I'm trying to spread it out, not working. Now it just looks like a big blob. So I'm trying to wipe some of it off. And adding more white paint tends to help. And I just didn't like it because it was... Um, vastly different from the rest of the piece so here's where i'm trying to fix it to kind of blend it in that wasn't working
So here it is after letting it dry for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And yes, parts of it are pretty, but it was not what I was going for. So lessons have been learned. And I decide to scrape it. Here's the same canvas, freshly scraped. <laughs> I just used a popsicle stick and pushed all the paint off. And here we go with the leveling again. So I had uh, roughly three ounces, two to three ounces of white paint left over from <clears throat> the previous attempt at this. And I just didn't want to have to mix up a new batch of white paint. So I was just trying to get this to work. And it did eventually. I just had to stretch it out and I didn't worry so much about covering the sides as I did covering the top evenly. All right, so I'm going to use the same process as before, an entire dropper full of the teal, alcohol, um, not alcohol ink, I'm sorry, acrylic ink, which reminds me to say alcohol ink will not work with this. It just won't. <laughs> um, all right, so then the one drop of silicone oil, which is a must. If you want a large dendrite pattern, you have to have the silicone oil. Okay, and then just several drops of isopropyl alcohol. I always do that part slowly. Just kind of one drop at a time. But I probably ended up putting roughly five drops. And just watching those dendrites form right before your eyes is just the coolest thing. This is real time. But I will go ahead and speed things up. I just alternate between the teal acrylic ink, uh, the purple, I think I add white at some point and I know I have the blue bottle sitting there, but I don't recall using it. I was again, having problems with the leveling. Uh, so I was trying to use popsicle sticks, stacked popsicle sticks to try and uh, work it out. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this way up so you can just watch and enjoy.
I wanted to show you in real time what it looks like when you add the alcohol to the puddle of the ink and the silicone. Watch. So cool. And then if you watch long enough, it will start to feed into the dendrites. And by the way, yes, I did use that um, blue ink that you saw earlier. Obviously, you could tell I used the blue. I just couldn't remember. But it's just the coolest thing. And then now, uh, because I know I'm close to being finished with this, I, I don't want to try to go any further because they'll continue to grow a little bit. I'm just adding a tiny little drop of white paint to the center. Um, I do end up adding a little bit more white paint before this shot. And just a little close up of all the beautiful ends. Notice they're not flooded. They're just gorgeous and delicate. The swirls of ink toward the center kind of look like the galaxy to me. I love that mixture of colors there on the ends. Kind of looks like coral. And then, uh, as I mentioned before, when you put the white puddle in the middle, little dendrites start to form inward on their own. You don't have to do anything special. And I'm going to go ahead and put this under a net and let it dry. I was so happy with this. I can't wait to um, put a coat of resin over top. And it'll probably end up in my office at work. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.